Yeah, yeah, that's a really interesting question because there's a lot of work coming out now in respect of cancer and diet. There is, I don't think there's too much doubt now that uh, cancer is fundamentally linked to carbohydrate in the diet. And uh, the, the carbohydrate, the, the pathway within the body that's causing a problem is changes uh, in the mitochondria of the, so of the cell mitochondria in the animal. And that's the precursor situation to cancer. So a lot of research has been done in this field and, and, the, and the vets are quite right to actually point to, um, to diet and the and relationship to cancer. And uh, it comes back to correctly formulating a diet in the first place. Now we've spoken before about diet formulation and a number of different aspects of that in relation to the use of inappropriate ingredients or in, the, in, in relation to the use of ingredients in the wrong proportions. And this is very much a very good example of that. Where we have um, unbalanced high carbohydrate diets, we're seeing a high incidence of um, both precancer and cancerous conditions. Where we're seeing diets that have been changed and formulated in a better way, there's now clinical evidence to suggest that these cancers can be at least held um, and, and the animal will go on to lead um, a fairly, pretty much a normal life until they finally succumb to something else. But there is definitely a very strong link appearing between diet formulation and, and, and the incidence of cancer and uh, it really is a matter of just watch this space, but it's certainly something that we're paying a lot of attention to and you'll see um, as our knowledge increases on this field, we'll be bringing more and more nutritional advantage to the diet to certainly um, circumvent this problem.